also become the convener of this locked up investment holders forum. Doc, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you. You become convener for so many, you know, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you are you now uh, in your retirement? You've decided to become convener of demonstrations against lockdown funds or, or something. Yeah, like that. Uh, I, I I think it's, it's financial uh, freedom. I want financial freedom for people. Nice, nice retirement. Uh, 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 what was the word? Escape. But yes. how different is this group from all the other groups you've been leading in the past? In the past, you used okay. to re lead retired, locked up funds people. That is a pensioner bondholders. Fantastic pensioner. You you got yes. the chief justice, the former chief yes. justice, to come and join yes. your picket today. I'm yes. told that you had very elderly persons in your midst. Who who is this particular yes. group of people? This who are is these? Locked up investment holders forum. Who are they? These are people who have invested in some financial institutions, namely uh, finance houses and savings and loans. Currently, four of them, NDK Financial Services, SIC Life Savings and Loans, NDC uh, Financial Services, and then the uh, Bond Savings and Loans. Uh, they can't assess or we can because I'm part of the investors. We can't assess our funds from these four institutions because of the challenges that has uh, come from the banking crisis and other other issues. So we came together for some of the, of the uh, institutions for four years now. Nobody is getting anything, not even your small, small interest. So we came together and we sent a petition to the Bank of Ghana uh, May last year that they should look into the matter. And if they have to support these institutions with some uh, liquidity support for them to be able to operate and, 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 and pay us our funds as and when needed. Uh, Bank of Ghana hasn't done anything. In November last year, we sent a proposal. I think we published a proposal in the daily uh, uh, graphic for everybody to see the proposal we have submitted to Bank of Ghana, which was Provide them with some support that they can pay at least investors some twenty percent of our funds. We are prepared to keep the rest in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the institutions uh, in the form of some mid medium term loans, and part also can be converted into equities and restructure these institutions so that they will become again viable and continue to employ people and provide the financial services they are providing. But if you think they do not deserve to be restructured and be saved, then under your own law, the law provides that even if you foresee that in the next six months an institution will become insolvent, start the resolution process now. But if you, are being, if you, are, you say you are not giving them money because they are insolvent, then you know they have been insolvent long time. So why are you still keeping them? They have revoked their licenses as you did in 2017-2018 to 23 insolvent institutions and then pay us our deposit, our funds, as you did 2017-2018. So that is our challenge. And Bank of Ghana wasn't responding to even our proposal that we have submitted. So today we embark on this demonstration to press home our demand for Bank of Ghana to step in so that we can get our funds. Now, why are you focused on government? Was that not a pri private contract you had with a private company? Uh, I don't think the government uh, wanted people to answer that question when it revoked the licenses of 23 financial institutions and paid their clients, their customers' funds. Government, through Bank of Ghana, licenses these institutions that if you want to make investment, go to these institutions and do your investment. So the confidence is there for the investor to go. You see, sometimes when we the law, people that don't understand the implication of some of these rules. The rules, both at where I work, Security Selection Commission, the security laws, and the banking laws, require a licensed institution to always call, prove, uh, pro, uh, display its license at a conspicuous place. 
in his office. Why? We want investors to be assured that for this office, if you enter and you see that, it means it is well properly regulated and you are safe there. Don't go to Piram. Don't go to R5. Don't go to uh, 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 wherever they don't have their license. So that is the, 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 the assurance the system is giving you that come here because we are protected. And when we are preaching investment, we preach to uh, people that don't put your investment anywhere apart from the regulated entities. So the, the, the system has a role to play to ensure that people are confident in putting their resources there. So it's not just a private arrangement. It is also the assurance that has been given by the state through the regulatory entities who uh, licenses, uh, who have licensed these uh, uh, institutions. So once you have done that, then you must protect it. When Bank of Ghana uh, revoked 23 uh, licenses, the statement they gave to the public, and if you like, go get it, go and read it. They said, these people are insolvent. We have revoked their licenses. The rest, we will make sure that we are going to increase our subvisory uh, uh, activities on site, off site, to ensure that the rest, none of them also goes through. Ah, they have gone through. So it means the regulators rule there has not been the right one because you said you have removed this, but the rest that are working, you ensure that you do it right now. If you are doing it anyway, now you enhance it. You improve your solution. You make sure this thing doesn't happen again. And now it has happened. So the, 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 the government through the regulators have a role to play. You were not able to meet the persons you were hoping to meet to lodge your complaints today, were you? We met the Bank of Ghana governor. All of you? The, yes, no, no. They you know the, 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 the police uh, has uh, determined some areas to be security zone. So when you are going, they don't allow the, the crowd, the whole contingent to go, as they did when the minority in caucus went to parliament. So we told the, the police that we will be sending 10 people. And the 10 people went to meet the governor. Uh, the, the two deputy governors were there. And uh, almost all the their department, Hector Health, were also there. So it was at that meeting that the governor also said that they appreciate that we have problems. But these institutions, they cannot give them support because where they have breached, they are insolvent, and the the licenses must be taken away from them. But if they revoke the, these licenses, clients' money will be at stake, and it must be paid to them. And I think uh, they are also looking at back at what happened 2017, 2018, when they revoke and government step in to pay. So they know that that is the same thing that must happen now. So if they are going to revoke these licenses, then they must get the assurance that government has gotten money somewhere to say, when you revoke, I can provide you money to pay. So that is their challenge, that they are working with government for government to make some provisions for that. Once government uh, assures them that they have this money, then they can go ahead and revoke these licenses and pay investors their, 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 their funds. So that is what we we got from the governor of the Bank of Ghana. So that means if government has money down, then I can revoke this license just as I did 2017-2018. And then use the money that government has provided uh, for this exercise to pay investors. Because we have said that we should be treated the same way. You cannot treat us differently from how you treated others 2017-2018. That will not be allow that. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you. That's Dr. Ananiedu. Uh, Edu Ananiedu. He is a convener of the Locked Up Investment Holder.